I feel like pranking influencers are just getting bored at this point. They have basically terrorized everybody. They've basically gotten themselves shot up and they that they think that maybe adults are probably not the best people to go ahead and prank anymore. So let's move on to the children. Like this story right here. An eight-year-old boy was surprised with a Target shopping spree after being pranked at the store. Of course, like reading it, you're thinking like, oh my God, did Target pranked the poor boy? No, these two strange dudes decided to come up to him and say that they were with Mr. Beast. They were going to go ahead and give him an entire shopping spree. Of course, Mr. Jimmy Beast would pay for it and he could get whatever the hell he wanted. And so the boy who by the way, is also hearing impaired, so, you know, special needs. He was very excited about it, and he was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. You, it, like, th this is the best day ever, and they told him that they wanted to do a fill-a-cart challenge where he would be blindfolded, and within 30 seconds, whatever he could put within the cart, they would pay for. Of course, us as adults see this as a red flag, you know, it, like, you get blindfolded and then you have to grab everything, but you're doing this to an eight-year-old boy and he can't really see much. And so I don't really think that that would be fair, even if that was a challenge. I don't think that would be fair for the boy. So, yeah, that's already a bullshit thing. But regardless of that, the kid's dad had said that he had heard the men running away after he had gotten blindfolded. The dad was just like, wait, what the hell just happened? And then, of course, the kid is really upset because he just realized he got pranked. And... It was a very, very sad moment for him, but it was not all in vain because the entire town had come up with a $200 gift card so that way he could go on his shopping spree and Target was nice enough to double it and send him not to the next person but down the next aisle so he can get some more toys, which was really nice. I, I think that that was something that should have been done. It, even though it wasn't necessarily Target's fault, I do see it as like, it, at least someone is trying to help out because there's so many of these shitty people in the world doing this shit to kids and it, it's not cool. This, this is just mind boggling to me. I don't understand why pranking has to go so far. I know everybody wants to do stuff for clicks and, you know, for reactions and uh, all, all this shit, but I don't understand why it has to go to a point where you just have to be a shitty person with it. I'm about to be 28 years old and I sound like I'm turning 88, but it, it's confusing to me because I don't know why people have to be such an asshole whenever it comes to prank. Hell, there's an entire SpongeBob episode that you can watch where he goes to a prank store and, you know, like all those pranks, you, they, they're real. The, like the fake things in the can whenever you open the lid and it shoots out at you and stuff. Yeah, no, all that's real. Those kinds of pranks were fun. They were, I mean, slightly annoying, but they, they were fun. They weren't anything that would put anybody in a terrible mood. But instead, you have YouTubers that piss people off enough to where they get shot, and then they're facing charges along with the person who shot them. You have people like this who say they're with Mr. Beast with no knowledge of who Mr. Beast probably is and they just wanted to be an asshole and they're just like hey watch this put it on TikTok some poor boy that they decided to be an asshole to thinks he's getting toys but really they're just like hey watch this shit not to mention there's also a content creator who even <laughs> told a homeless person that he was going to get him some food but instead ate the food in front of him like I, I, I don't get it. Why is it so important for everybody to be shitty? I, I don't know. It's so bizarre seeing these kinds of people do these things on the internet because it's like it's it's uncalled for. And I, I, I really hope that wherever those people are, where whatever their TikTok is, I hope they get banned. I, I hope they get what's coming to them because th this was a very, very disgusting thing to do.